Good day and welcome to another episode of Your Money Moment. I'm your host Moritz Oberholzer. Today we're going to talk about some common myths about investing in South Africa. Investing in South Africa can be very lucrative, but it's important to be aware of some common misconceptions that can hinder your financial goals. Here are some of those prevalent myths. The first one, you need a lot of money to start investing. This is a common misconception. Many investment options such as unit trusts and exchange traded funds or ETFs have low minimum investment amounts, making them accessible to almost everyone. The second myth, investing is risky. While investing involves some risk, it is important to understand that risk can be managed through diversification. By spreading your investment across different asset classes, you can reduce the impact of potential losses. The third one, Timing the market is key. Trying to predict market fluctuations are often futile. Long-term consistent investing is generally more effective than attempting to time the market. Number four, past performance guarantees future results. This is the one I see often. A lot of people see that in the past this asset class or this type of investment did well and then they want to go all in on that type of investment. While past performance can be a helpful indicator, it's not a guarantee of future returns. Market conditions can change rapidly and past performance is no indication of future results. Number five, real estate is the only safe investment. While real estate can be a valuable asset, it's not without its own risk. Property prices can fluctuate and there are additional costs to consider such as maintenance and property taxes and also renters that do not pay and them damaging your uh, property. So it doesn't come without risk. Lastly, number six, While there are stories of people making significant profits quickly, these are often exceptions rather than the rule. Sustainable wealth growth typically requires a long-term perspective and a disciplined investment plan. Remember before making any investment decisions, it's crucial to do your research, consult with a financial advisor and understand your risk tolerance. So that's it on the myths of investing in South Africa. I just want to quickly touch on something else. Everyone knows the two-pot system is coming into play on the 1st of September and there are just some things I wanted to discuss, namely the eligibility criteria for a savings benefit withdrawal. Remember, there's going to be two pots. There's going to be the savings pot and then there's going to be the retirement pot. Now, the savings pot is going to be the one where you can make a single withdrawal every year just to help out with emergencies. And to be eligible for the savings benefit withdrawal, you must meet the following criteria. You must have a minimum of 2,000 rands in that savings pot. You have not made a prior withdrawal within that same tax year. You must be a registered South African taxpayer and you must have a valid South African tax number. If that's not the case, if you don't have a tax number, if you're not a taxpayer, you will not be able to make a withdrawal from your savings pot so make sure you have that in place if you are eyeing to make a withdrawal from your savings pot all right that's it for this week see you next week same time same place when you're navigating through life's big events like buying a home starting a family or approaching retirement you need sound and impartial financial advice Moritz Oberholzer, a financial advisor at Stonas Capital, specializes in personal financial planning. Visit moritzoberholzer.co.za or call 082-774-1996. For practical and easy to understand advice and tips, don't miss your money moment with Moritz Oberholzer, Thursday mornings at 10 on e-radio.